Hey guys, I Device Help here. Welcome back to the channel and yet another one. Apple releases another software update for iPhones and iPads in iOS 13 for everyone worldwide. Apple today released iOS 13.2.3. Now, of course, in this video, we're going to go over some of the release notes and fixes with this software update. And this is a good thing. This is a sign that Apple is trying to make iOS 13 the best it can be. It's listening to their customers, their complaints. And hopefully this new update this week will bring all those improvements mentioned on the release notes. So let's dive right into the release notes and talk about iOS 13.2.3. And it seems like every single week Apple is releasing a new software update. And I'm very happy for this actually because I don't mind updating as long as we get improvements. Take a look at some of the release notes this week with iOS 13.2.3. This one fixes an issue with system search and search within mail files and notes that may not work so if you're searching through the system files or you're searching through the mail application or notes and you don't get some of the results this will actually address that issue another issue that apple is aiming to fix with this software is addressing an issue where photos links and other attachments may not appear in the messages details view so if we go to messages here now this happened to me and someone is sending you links or photos these go into the details here this section here and all your photos and additional details and links should appear in this section here so if they don't then that means that you're having this issue and this software update addresses this issue as well. Now it also fixes an issue that could prevent apps from downloading certain content in the background. So loading apps in the background continues to be somewhat of an issue, not as it was before with iOS 13.2 where we had that issue where the apps just will have to reload entirely. Nothing like that. This is just content loading issues. So if you have a game and you see that the data is not syncing properly, those issues look to be resolved or at least Apple says it's looking to resolve that with this software update. Now this also addresses an issue and this one is a biggie for a lot of email users that prevents uh, the email application from fetching new messages including quotes original messages content and exchange accounts. Now this is also very important there's sometimes where i see all my message threads just combine one with the other it's just a total mess new messages will just not load properly this is email by the way if you're having that issue as i was 13.2.3 looks to address this issue now if you're coming from 13.2 Point two to 13.2.3, the software will be approximately 100 to 200 megabytes depending on your device. And I have to say, I'm very happy once again with Apple's uh, release cycle for new software update because again, this means Apple is actually listening to their customers. Apple is looking at the bug reports and it's looking to address and fix as many issues on your iPhones as well as iPads. By the way, iPads also received an update, iOS 13.2.3 to address the exact same issues so if you have an iphone or an ipad today is the day to update i highly recommend going to settings general software updates and download the new os for your iphone and ipad and this was just a very quick video that about brings it into this one stay tuned for my follow-up thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace